today on my guitar book review, I'm looking at this. It's called a Tuna Day for Classical Guitar, book one. Uh, this one's been around for years. Uh, this is a newer copy of this. I've got an old copy as well, which um, has got a much more old fashioned looking cover, uh, but it, the content I think is exactly the same. But this was first published in uh, 1970. Um, what, what you find with, with some of the, the books is that, some of the non-classical books, is that the old ones, like 1971, would be a bit old-fashioned in the content, so that, like, there might be songs, kind of pop songs and things from the time, and if you're in 2021 trying to learn to play guitar, you don't necessarily want to be playing those, it depends, you might. Um, so they can seem a bit outdated. With classical books, it's not the case, because the, the music that you tend to find in them is usually old anyway. So if the music's 200 years old, then it doesn't really matter whether you're looking at this in 1970 or 2020 or whatever. Uh, so this one, a tuna day, this was one that a teacher I had recommended I get when I was playing classical guitar. And this would have been much nearer the, the publication date. I mean, it would have been uh, early 80s, I suppose. I, I probably got my copy and I've still got that one. Uh, and it's a very good book. It's, it's a bit like the, the Guitarist Way books, which uh, I'll, I'll also do a review on. Uh, but this one is, is not specifically aimed at kids. So it seems a bit more grown up, the way this one reads. Um, it's, the content in here is really good. And like with all of these books, you've got, um, it starts off with about how to hold the guitar and just the basics basic theory, teaching you to read, it's very good for that, um, get straight into it. Um, and it doesn't, doesn't spend too long on on anything, this book, but it also spends long enough, I think, it's a, it, I think they've got the balance about right with this one. So if you went all the way through this book, you know, taking your time, it's only up 30 or no, less than 30 pages long, 26 pages long, you'd have to take your time with it. Um, and so, you know, it could take weeks rather than days, probably months to go through this and to get the hang of everything. Uh, by the time you get to the end, you're playing some, you know, not really difficult stuff, but quite interesting, nice sounding piece of music. And you, you'll get a sense of achievement if you get to the end of this book, especially without a teacher. I mean, with a teacher would be easier. I often uh, use this, this one with my pupils. I use the Guitarist Way books as well. Uh, with, especially with younger kids, but th these I also use with classical pupils, and uh, I have done for years and years, and they're, they're very good. Uh, this is book one, there's book two, I'm not sure if they go beyond book two, these particular ones. And I think they do a tune a day for, for acoustic guitar as well, I think. They might have done an electric one, I haven't seen it, but they may do. Uh, I haven't looked at the acoustic one, but I've, I've seen that it exists. But anyway, this one's very good. Very similar to Guitarist Way in, in what it what you achieve. It, it goes further than book one of a Guitarist Way, quite a bit further, I think. But uh, it's a similar thing. I might do another video comparing those two, actually. Uh, but I, I really recommend these. If you're a beginner classical guitar player, then this is a very good book to get. A Tune a Day by C. Paul Herfurth. I'm not sure if that's how you say the name. Okay, thanks.